So Dataflow is very much like a spreadsheet. Changing the value in one cell automatically recalculates all other dependent cells. Uh, the cells can be simple calculations or they can be more complex operations like parse a whole file. They're connected together with links that allow the output of one cell to be fed into the input of the next, creating a directed graph that is the Dataflow program. Dataflow concepts cover a wide area with numerous interlocking details that you have to be aware of before you start designing your program. Uh, take for example uh, links. They can act as buffers that hold multiple data packets or just a single data packet. Um, in flow-based programming, uh, they describe their links as bounded buffers. But in pure data flow programming, the links typically only contain a single data packet. Uh, the difference is due to the size of the typical operation. Uh, in flow-based programming, they have large operations, also called uh, large granularity. And in pure data flow programming, they typically have small granularity. You have to understand what options you have before you even design your system, or else you might design the wrong system. In the book, I first cover the nouns of data flow, the nodes, the links, the data. I explain what they are and what options developers have in designing their own systems. Next, I describe the runtime operation, the scheduling and execution of nodes, the transmission of data in between the nodes, and the synchronization of parallel operations. Later on in the book, there's a whole section on specific models of uh, data flow. For example, flow-based programming or reactive programming, uh, pure data flow, actors, Unix pipes. Uh, I'll explain what they are, what's the key points to those models, and how to design systems of those models. So I think data flow has uh, gotten more popular lately because we need a method of uh, easily creating parallel programs. Moore's law has stopped, or at least paused, until software developers can figure out a way to use all the processors, all the cores on a processor. Now, we can't go any further with our standard sequential programming. We need to think about parallel and data flow is the most obvious solution to this. I believe in uh, the KISS principle, keep it simple stupid, and also Occam's razor. The most obvious solution is usually the correct solution. To me, data flow is the most obvious solution.